Senator Montenegro, let me Thank start you. with you. Arizona has two Republicans in the U.S. Senate. Both of them came out against the pardon of Sheriff Arpaio done this way. Senator Jeff Flake tweeting, quote, Regarding the Arpaio pardon, I would have preferred that the president honor the judicial process and let it take its course. Senator John McCain was even blunter. He tweeted, quote, The president's pardon of Joe Arpaio, who illegally profiled Latinos, undermines his claim for the respect of rule of law, unquote. Uh, Senator, why, in your view, are your two Republican U.S. senators wrong about this issue? Well, thank you for having me, Jake, first of all. And, you know, there's, there's long-standing disagreements uh, between those gentlemen and Sheriff Joe. I don't want to get in the middle of that, but I can tell you that there's also congressmen here in Arizona, like Congressman Trent Franks, Congressman Paul Gosar, Ca Congressman Andy Biggs, who have lauded and, and stand strongly behind the president's decision to uh, pardon Sheriff Joe. And look, what's on display here is, frankly, the hypocrisy from the left. You know, you had President Obama pardoning hundreds of thugs. You had President Obama, uh, I think his name was Oscar Lopez Rivera, who was a convicted, uh, unrepented terrorist. And where was the outrage from the left then when he was pardoning uh, thugs and murderers and unrepented terrorists like that? But you have here uh, an 85-year-old man who, frankly, has served his country since he was 18. Um, and the best the left can come up with after they do a political persecution on him is a misdemeanor, who even then that was, I don't think, uh, I don't believe that was done correctly through the judicial process. So what we're seeing here is outrage uh, on one end, a double standard, but not, not when it comes to actual terrorists or unrepented thugs and terrorists like Oscar Lopez Rivera. Hello, uh, I think Senator Montenegro is forgetting that he's an immigrant from El Salvador and that Sheriff Joe Arpaio discriminated against many people, just like you, Senator. Um, by pardoning Arpaio, uh, President Trump is defending racism. Arpaio violated the Constitution. He discriminated against Latinos. He was convicted of a criminal contempt of court. And, and not only that, the Department of Justice, ACLU, two judges agreed that he practiced and promoted racial profiling. In other words, he was accused of racism. Sheriff Arpaio discriminated against thousands of Latinos. He destroyed many homes. And that's precisely, that's precisely the man that in the middle of a hurricane, President Trump pardoned. Well, Jake, let, let me respond to that. I, I, I do remember that I'm an immigrant myself. And frankly, uh, Sheriff Joe has endorsed me in my campaigns in the past and supported me for years as well. So this narrative that the left tries to push that Republicans are racist, look, if you're looking at the screen right now and you think I'm a white Republican, you need to adjust your screen. This is the narrative that the left continues to push against Republicans, and it's simply not true. And frankly, look, the judges that, were, that started this case in the first place, first of all, the, the judge should have recused herself because she had a, a family member that was part of the original lawsuit against Sheriff Joe. Um, she should have recused herself in the first place. And then when it comes time to, to have a jury or a trial, they, the Obama administration takes this case and doesn't even allow there to be a jury uh, or a trial by jury. Again, there's so many things. Sheriff Joe would have won this case on appeal because the process was very grossly uh, neglected. But again, folks like Jorge, you know, they use true. these talking points. They use these talking points against Republicans about racism. Again, look, I can, I can start, start doing this interview in Spanish if we want to. I'm a Republican. Does that make me a racist? No. I'm an immigrant myself. Does that make me a racist? No. It's just that we respect the rule of law. We want to make sure that we are obeying, that we are upholding the best of the process that we have in this country. Or I go ahead. Yeah, but you're not respecting the rule of law right there, Mr. Montenegro, because uh, the fact is that Sheriff Arpaio is a convicted criminal, and he was accused of racism. And I, your, your last name is in Spanish, Montenegro, not, not in English. And I find it really disturbing and sad when an immigrant like you decides to turn his back on other immigrants and forgets where he comes from. I, I think and, you, and you I had the choice, Mr. Montenegro, when, to be on the right side of history. When to be like Senator, on the, Senator on let, let, Jorge, let Jorge finish, please. Go ahead, Jorge. You had the chance, Mr. Montenegro, and President Trump had the chance to be on the right side of history, and that is with tolerance, with diversity, uh, with democracy. And you, Mr. Montenegro, and President Trump decided to be on the wrong side of history, and that is with racism and with discrimination. That's precisely what happened when President Trump pardoned Arpaio. Go ahead, Senator. 
Uh, again, this is part of the uh, the narrative. I mean, the left, they resort to personal attacks when they can't stand on facts. I mean, the Republican Party here in Arizona, I was the majority leader in the House of Representatives. That That's the Republican Party not being racist. I'm, I'm a statewide candidate right now for Secretary of State for the Republican Party. That's not racism. Th this narrative that Republicans are racist, it's it's what the liberals and the left resort to when they have, when they're left out of facts, when they have You're nothing to stand Someone who's being accused of racism, Mr. Montenegro. You, no, you're I'm, defending I'm, I'm, Donald Trump, uh, a, a, a person who um, accused Mexican immigrants for being rapists and criminals, and that you know precisely that is not true. So you are defending Arpaio, who's been accused of discrimination. You're defending President Trump, who's, who's been accused of racist remarks. Those are the people you are defending, Mr. Montenegro, an immigrant well, Jorge, from El Salvador. Jorge, in this country, we follow the rule of law. In this country, we believe that everybody has the right to, to a process to be charged. If they're going to be charged if, to a process that's going to... He was to, charged. Uh, Arpaio was yeah, charged. Correct. And there was a judge who should have recused herself because she had her, 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 the original family member was one of the folks that started the lawsuit against Sheriff Joe. And, and then when it's time to actually do the, jur the, the trial, as the Constitution states, we need to make sure that we either do it if it's going to be criminal, which, by the way, this happens in other countries. This Jorge. is a long process. I, I, it's this been a long happens process in other countries. It's called political persecution. This happens no, in other countries. No, it's not political persecution. Political it's persecution. called discrimination. When folks don't agree with you, they use the, the judicial system to it's try to destroy you. It's not political persecution. That does not happen in this country. In this country, we follow the rule of law. In exactly. this country, and we actually sure? have a system. And, and this, what this, this nonsense about racism. What Sheriff Arpaio did is discrimination, racism. Mr. Montenegro. What, like what I Sheriff Arpaio did is... Mont is, is, is discrimination. And, and yet, let me just say something about President Trump, because I think that if President Trump wanted to distance himself from racism, he had a, a great opportunity, and he just didn't use it. Uh, not only he pardoned Ar Arpaio, but this happened after he refused for two days to condemn by name the KKK. This happened after he equated white supremacists with those marching against racism. This happened after he called very fine people um, those who decided to march with neo-Nazis. And after that, he pardoned Arpaio. What I'm really concerned, Jake, really, really concerned, is that with these actions, President Trump is making racism something normal. And by defending someone who's been accused of racist behavior like, like Arpaio, he's He's telling everybody in the United States, you know, it is okay. It is okay. Racism is okay and in this country. And I'm, I'm really disturbed and concerned about that because well, if President Trump is that. doing that and Arpaio are doing that, then what's the message for the rest of the people who voted for Donald Trump? Well, and let me add to that. Look, I think Americans are seeing right through this. This doesn't have to do with racism. This is the left having a double standard. It's when racism. You have the left well, when, when we're talking about the left pardoning thugs, unrepented terrorists, when we have the less left cheering for that, when we have the left cheering for the pardon of traitors that give away secrets that put in danger and imperil Americans and everybody in this country, and they cheer just because a man wants a sex change, I mean, that is what's on display here, the hypocrisy from the left, the hypocrisy and the left trying to make racism Mr. an Montenegro, issue you are when defending the fact is that a we are a country of the of rule of law. Okay. No, you... you where was your outrage when, when uh, President Obama was pardoning unrepented terrorists, Jorge? Where you was are, your you outrage? You are defending there? right Jorge. now, Mr. Montenegro. You uh, are defending. Where was your outrage? I, 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 if, I could, if I could just interject myself for one second, Jorge, before we go, I, I just wanted to check in because obviously at the beginning of the Trump campaign, uh, you famously clashed with a then-candidate Trump at a news conference. He told you to sit down and go back to Univision. Um, obviously yeah. now uh, we are... Uh, eight months in to the Trump presidency, or seven months and change, um, the Latino community has been able to, to actually take measure of his time in office. Um, what's your read on how he is being received by the Latino community in this country in general? My, my read is that, that we were right when they detected racism when President Trump said that Mexican immigrants were criminals and rapists. And, and when he told you, Jake, that Josh Curiel couldn't do his job simply because he's a Latino. That's, again, as you mentioned back then, a definition of 
discrimination and racism. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say that we were right. I'm sorry to say that what we detected on June 16, 2015, um, is happening here because it, it follow a path, not only his criticism of immigrants, but then what he said about Josh Curiel, and then wh what, how he responded to the violence in Virginia, and now he's part on to Arpaio. I'm wondering what's next, maybe DACA, maybe a wall. Who knows? Senator, uh, uh, Senator Montenegro, before I let you go, I, I really would love to know what you would like President Trump to do when it comes to the so-called dreamers, the, the immigrants that were brought into this country illegally when they were children. Uh, they were given a temporary status by President Obama. Uh, President Trump has a decision to make. What do you want him to do when it comes to the dreamers? Well, r really quickly, I, you know, again, what we're seeing right here is the left trying to make this about racism. And, and it's, I think that even Hispanics, the, the, the president received more support uh, from Latinos this last election than many because they're able to see right through that as well. And I think that the president, you know, the decisions that he's going to make are based on the rule of law in this country. We are a country that respects the rule of law. It is about and racism, we can, Mr. We can, Montenegro. We, can't, we cannot expect... Uh, the, the Americans in this country to take the fault for decisions that have been made from other families, you know. I, I think that the president's going to look at, at the information that he has, and he's going to make the right decision based on what our country needs, on what is right for our families, whether... Mr. Montenegro, you were brought here when you were five years society, old. That's correct, and I came you, here you, you were, and, and, I came and then you don't want Jorge, other immigrants and, and like you, is, dreamers like you, no, who came fact, here when they were very young, I you don't I, want I them I to, to have thoughts, the same Jay. opportunities that you had? That's... Mr. Montenegro, you were brought here when you were five. We want that. Why don't you give the same Jorge, chance to this others? Is what, this is All what right, the just left resorts to. They don't, they don't allow us to finish speaking. The, the opportunities here, Hispanics, Latino families come to this country because they respect the rule of law. In other countries, they do not respect the rule of law. That's why people come here. Okay. So the law protects everybody. And I think that, that when it comes to personal attacks like the ones that uh, Jorge makes, you know, people see right through that. We are a country that's better than this. We're better than this. All right. And I think that as time goes by, we'll be able to see that. All right, Senator Montenegro, uh, Jorge Ramos, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. And a double standard, but not, not when it comes to actual terrorists or unrepented thugs and terrorists like Oscar Lopez Rivera. Jorge? Uh, I think Senator Montenegro is forgetting that he's an immigrant from El Salvador and that Sheriff Joe Arpaio discriminated against many people, just like you, Senator. Um, by pardoning Arpaio, uh, President Trump is defending... The respect of rule of law, unquote. Uh, Senator, why, in your view, are your two Republican U.S. senators wrong about this issue? Well, thank you for having me, Jake, first of all. And, you know, there's, there's long-standing disagreements uh, between those gentlemen and Sheriff Joe. I don't want to get in the middle of that, but I can tell you that there's also congressmen here in Arizona, like Congressman Trent Franks, Congressman Paul Gosar, Ca Congressman Andy Big. Senator Montenegro, let me thank start you. with you. Arizona has two Republicans in the U.S. Senate. Both of them came out against the pardon of Sheriff Arpaio done this way. Senator Jeff Flake tweeting, quote, Regarding the Arpaio pardon, I would have preferred that the president honor the judicial process and let it take its course. Senator John McCain was even blunter. He tweeted, quote, the president's pardon of Joe Arpaio, who illegally profiled Latinos, undermines his claim for the uh, thugs and murderers and unrepented terrorists like that. But you have here uh, an 85 year old man who, frankly, has served his country since he was 18. Um, and the best the left can come up with after they do a political persecution on him is a misdemeanor who even then that was, I don't think, uh, I don't believe that was done correctly through the judicial process. So what we're seeing here is outrage uh, on one ex who have lauded and, and stand strongly behind the president's decision to uh, pardon Sheriff Joe. And look, what's on display here is, frankly, the hypocrisy from the left. You know, you had President Obama pardoning hundreds of thugs. You had President Obama, uh, I think his name was Oscar Lopez Rivera, who was a convicted, uh, unrepented terrorist. And where was the outrage from the left then when he was pardoned?